In today's video, we're going to talk about inequalities. Inequalities ask you to solve equations dealing with a greater than or less than symbol, or a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to symbol. Three things to remember. Number one, you can treat these problems just like algebra problems, meaning that you can just treat the inequality as an equal sign in the sense that you can just, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you can do to the other in order to solve. So don't worry, it's not any different than solving for an equation. There's one thing you need to remember, though, which is if you multiply or divide by a negative number, predominantly you'll be doing this with negative 1, you need to flip the inequality. For example, if you had x is greater than negative 5, then if you, if you multiply by negative 1, you'd have negative x is less than 5. Also, if you ever see an inequality mixed with an absolute value symbol, you do need to solve for two separate equations in order to get the, the entire result. So let me walk you through that. So in this example below, we have the absolute value of x plus 7 is less than 2. So in order to understand how to solve this question, we have to do two, solve two equations. First, x plus 7 is less than 2. This is basically only dealing with the positive solution. So solving now by subtracting 7 from both sides, we have x is less than negative 5. You might be tempted to think you're done. You also need to solve for when x plus 7 is greater than negative 2. This deals with the negative value that the absolute value would switch to a positive value. Solving there, we have x is greater than negative 9. Now combining the two, we have our solution, which is x is greater than negative 9 or less than negative 5. And I very highly recommend that if you ever solve one of these, you then take an answer and plug it in to make sure it work, works. In our example, negative 6 would be a number that we found is true. Plugging negative 6 back in, the absolute value of negative 6 plus 7 is the absolute value of negative 1, which is 1, which is indeed less than 2. So we are pretty confident that our answer is indeed correct. Let's go ahead and look at some SAT questions so that you can master absolute, uh, or, sorry, uh, inequality questions. All right. 